everybody just wants to like get more from her, take more from her, uh, get more answers to things, and and I don't want to be that. I just um, we're we're friends, and I think that that's. It's a woman with Steph Curry. <laughs> Thank you. She can shoot it better than me. For me to see it in person, it, it, she's legit. You know, she's 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 the best. So uh, she's the goat. So. There's a different energy. Like it's great for uh, great for her. Great for you know women's basketball. Have you reached out to her at all? Or I have, but uh... Caitlin maybe, bro. Caitlin's cold. Maybe That's the one yeah. girl that I was like, okay. If she was in an one NBA time. game, yeah, on defense she would get cooked. But <laughs> offensive, <laughs> offensively, like she'll knock down some corner threes or yeah. like a swing swing three like caitlin clark has certainly made her mark in the wnba with a style of play that is revolutionizing their game she has been drawing more attention than the league has ever seen her superstardom has sent shockwaves to even the nba where we can find current nba stars giving her praise and having their own take about this crazy new phenomenon at the wnba as we all know fame doesn't only bring on positive things pressure and expectation weigh heavily on any young prospect and the bigger your name the more that your competitors would love to crush you everyone seems to have something to say about caitlin clark now some of these have been controversial, which is expected from any person with suddenly rising popularity. It's great, then, that some NBA stars have gone out of their way to praise Clark. After all, they have more or less gone through some of the same experiences. What do current NBA players have to say about Caitlin Clark? Let's hear what kind of praise, advice, or criticisms they could have for a fellow Hooper who is currently making a name for herself. When you hear the word controversy regarding the NBA, there's fewer names that pop up first than Draymond Green. He is no stranger to letting people know about his opinions, so it's no surprise that he's chimed in on Caitlin Clark on his podcast. Draymond Green has been somewhat of a representative of the enforcer role in the NBA, players that are there to get physical, bully opponents, and protect their teammates. This makes him insightful to hear from regarding the controversies about WNBA players being very physical with Caitlin Clark. It is somewhat of a clear pattern. Rookie hazing in basketball has always existed, but it is magnified if you are the most popular rookie in your league's history. Green is quick to acknowledge the greatness of Caitlin Clark, but has also redirected attention to more greats that should be appreciated way more. In his podcast, he lists down many names of the previous WNBA greats throughout the years who have been laying the groundwork for what the league is today. They've opened the door so Caitlin could walk in and blow the roof off the WNBA building as its new star. This in the end is a great thing to witness, according to Green, though we should never forget those who started the movement. I think, um, like you said, Caitlyn's been great, but I've heard no one say Caitlyn got the opportunity to be this because of all the sweat of these women that came before her. Yeah. You know, so like it, it goes both ways. Yeah. Like Caitlyn has 1000% brought uptick in popularity to the league, which is great. We go from one enforcer to another. Patrick Beverly has also commented on the controversial topics surrounding Caitlin Clark. He highlighted that everything that happens with Clark pulls more eyes than it would for any other WNBA player. This, of course, includes the Patrick Beverly-esque physical antics of her opponents. She has been getting her fair share of hard fouls and questionably dirty plays, not unlike the ones Beverly has done towards NBA superstars. Though Beverly is quick to praise Caitlin Clark for the dominance she has over the WNBA now, he noted that the extra attention is great for the league as well. On Gilbert Arenas' podcast, Beverly also shared that he has done practices with WNBA players and was impressed with their skill. This, of course, applies especially for Caitlin Clark. She has enough skill to lead to her dominance despite not having the outstanding physical attributes that other greats do. But this woman, uh, Caitlin Clark, you know, she's not the tallest. She doesn't have a, a crazy frame that, you know, but she got, she got women's basketball on lock right now. And she hasn't really been in it in a while, and a lot of people haven't seen a lot of it. Anything that happens with her is going to be magnified, right, which is great for the WNBA. The controversies and immense pressure on her could make many other players falter. So Lakers star Anthony Davis applauds Clark for how well she's handled it all. We know that Davis was one of the highest profile prospects coming into the league as well. He has also watched an even more hyped prospect in his longtime friend and teammate, LeBron James. Davis knows how this story goes by now. He knows how difficult it all is, the nonstop criticism, the media narratives, the leap in physicality as a rookie. After what he's seen from Clark so far, it's no surprise that he's optimistic about her future success. She's handled all the hurdles with tenacity and grace. I think she handles, handles you know, all the criticism and everything that's going on you know, fairly well. She never 
that nothing like knock off her square, man. Like I, I just saw the interview when she was uh, they asked her about the not being on the Olympic team. What a great answer yeah, she gave. Great answer. I think she'll be fine. And all the stuff about the physicality and she, it comes with the league. It comes like, with it, yeah. No, you're a rookie. You've heard it a lot by now, but physicality truly has recently been a hot topic of discussion with the WNBA and Caitlin Clark especially. The new eyes on the WNBA also lead to plenty of comparisons with the NBA since it has been the more familiar product. NBA champion Michael Porter Jr. has even speculated how Caitlin would fare in the NBA. In his podcast, he emphasizes the inherent difference in physicality between the NBA and the WNBA. His statements about Caitlin Clark aren't the most positive, but the fact that she's even being put in this discussion is a testament to her greatness. Caitlin's cold. Really That's the with, one yeah. girl that I was like, okay, if she was in an one NBA time. game, yeah, on defense, she would get cooked. <laughs> Offensively, like, she'll knock down some corner threes or, yeah. like, a swing, swing three, like... She actually would, because she can shoot from that far, you know? Now on to someone who will be way more empathetic to Kaelton's situation. There is really no better place for her to receive praise and advice than LeBron James. As we all know, LeBron was possibly the most hyped prospect of all time. He was drafted straight out of high school while already having speculations about him becoming the GOAT. Caitlin Clark's massive league-changing hype can really only be compared to him at this point. What comes with that fame, of course, is all of the hate. LeBron has grown to be one of the most hated athletes during his career because of the expectations he had set. He's no stranger to the media spinning narratives about every little thing he does. He's had that same target on his back that Caitlin has, where opposing players play even harder against them to try to knock them off of their pedestal. None of that stopped LeBron from achieving greatness. It's a rare feat indeed. No player in the WNBA or NBA has been able to live up to expectations this huge. It's nice to know that LeBron is supportive of Caitlin Clark and has voiced out some guidance addressed directly to her. Much of his advice is about listening to the advice of others as well. Caitlin has expressed being a student of the game for the WNBA, so it seems like she has a good head on her shoulders on this part. You have to remain humble and focused in order to survive as an iconic athlete as the years go by. There's no better example than LeBron himself. If you believe LeBron can truly predict the future, then you best believe Caitlin Clark is going to do great. Hopefully this time around, haters will learn to just appreciate the greatness of the next generational basketball talent. Um, and my advice to anyone that comes in with this, you know, this level of like notoriety, you know, out of this world I, expectation, you know, whatever the case may be, I just think just, you know, it's all about having, you know, a, a, be a, a, a horse, man, you know, the Kentucky Derby, put your blinders on, go to work, show up to work, punch your clock in, prepare yourself, work on your game, work on your craft, you know, Kind of keep your mouth shut, you know, and just learn from the vets. When they ask, you voice your opinion if they want your opinion, man, early on. Because everybody is looking for you to say anything and they're going to splice it and cut it and make it a negative thing. I'm rooting for Caitlin because I've been in that seat before. I've walked that road before. I hope they, I hope she kills. I hope Aaliyah Boston does amazing. You know, I hope they do great. Caitlin is not all about the hype and notoriety, though. Her popularity is just an outcome of her prodigious basketball ability. After she had played one of her best games, star point guard Trey Young couldn't help but give her her flowers. Trey Young and Caitlin has a lot of similarities in how they play the game. They don't rely on being the biggest or strongest athlete on the court, but they dominate the game with exceptional skill in shot creation and playmaking. They conduct the offense of their team by leveraging scoring threats in multiple forms. The most extraordinary of these is their long-range shooting, which truly opens up the floor for their teammates and attacks at the rim. Because of this similarity in their approach, Trey was able to break down schematically just how Caitlin Clark is able to have these scoring outbursts. This analysis shows the experience of Trey at the point guard position, but also the phenomenal basketball IQ that Caitlin Clark already has at such a young age. She has that same ability to dissect defenses and make the right reads that all of the all-time great guards have. I mean, it's, it's crazy. Like, 40 and 12, like, people don't understand, like, that's not easy. Like, scoring and then getting everybody involved. Like, what she's doing is, is unbelievable. And then yeah. she was using her hang dribble just to read if she was going to be able to blow by her defender or not. And she was just doing step backs and side steps and dribbling in the in the lane, dribbling back out, and then shooting threes. But it started with her getting to the basket yeah. and just getting, to, getting some layups, getting easy ones, getting some end ones to start the game. Like, 
you could tell that she, she had a plan on what she was doing all night. Another current young star that falls into this mold is Luka Doncic. Many have compared Luka to Clark because of the way they both impose their will on the game offensively and because of their rapid rise as the face of their corresponding league. Luka is known to be a fierce competitor who trash talks other players constantly and psychotically goes out to prove just how much better he is than anyone else. That's what makes his quote all the more astounding. He goes out of his way to praise Clark as another legend of the game, and even as someone better than him at shooting. That's some high praise for one of the most self-confident jump shooters out there right now. It's a woman, Steph Curry. She can shoot it better than me. Caitlin Clark seems to be following the same path that Luca laid out as the notable prodigy turned superstar. The first step in that path is being very nearly the unanimous rookie of the year, which both Luca and Caitlin have accomplished now. Luca was only off by two votes, and Caitlin was off by just one. It was clear as day from the start that these two would be running the league someday. Luca has fulfilled his potential and has reached previously untouched heights of offensive output. It's very likely that Caitlin will be doing the same very soon. Caitlin, congratulations on an amazing season. Rookie of the year is a big honor. You deserve it. Congratulations. Steph Curry himself had to chime in on Caitlin Clark. After all, Luca isn't the only one who has been comparing Caitlyn to Curry. She's been donning the female Steph Curry label since college, and it's not hard to see why. Her long-range three-point shooting is a dead giveaway already. There's been comparisons of Steph Curry's shooting form with the similar form of Caitlyn Clark. They both have that blindingly quick release time that stuns defenders, but their games have way more to it than just that weapon. Steph himself has observed that special aspect from Caitlyn Clark. To be like Steph, you don't just have to have the skill to shoot like Steph, you need to perform. Turn the game into a show for the crowd. You also have to have more to your game than that. Find ways to make your team better and affect the game, even when the ball isn't in your hands. That's what separates Steph's greatness from all the other guards that have been practicing their three-point shot. It's no wonder why people have asked Steph a lot about Caitlin Clark, and it's cool that Steph has been outspoken with his praise. I saw points. somebody break down the release time, which is pretty much identical to mine. You can't help but watch when she plays, where she's shooting from, the range, the confidence, the flair. Like, she's a performer. It's crazy, though, just because her shot is it's like that. It's at that level. If you really watch, like, the, her floor game is as impressive, so... It's kind of the total package, um, and her being the you know, friends breaking that record and the uh, amount of attention that she is, has gained over the course of these last couple of years. Every building she goes into, there's a different energy. Like it's great for uh, great for her, great for you know, women's basketball. Steph represented the NBA during a landmark three-point shootout with the WNBA's Sabrina Ionescu. It was a thrilling matchup that was close until the end with Steph edging out the win. Maybe now that NBA versus WNBA three-point shootouts have been established, Caitlin Clark could have a shot at going toe-to-toe -to -toe with her idol too. She has declined to join the three-point contest so far, but is open to it in the future, she says. I know all of our fingers are crossed that she does. Aside from Steph, Caitlin has also been often compared to Tyrese Halliburton. The similarities go a long way. Both of them are special three-point shooters. Both of them use this ability to make plays for their teammates. Their similar play style is obvious, but they also seem to be playing in similar contexts. Both of them are young stars who have quickly made a name for themselves after being put into the basketball-obsessed state of Indiana. It's no wonder that the press immediately got Halliburton's take on Clark coming into his city and becoming a basketball comrade in the same organization. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for her to be here. Um, I think it brings a lot of excitement to the city. And, you know, a city with a lot of young talent already as it is and adding her, you know, she's one of the faces of women's basketball and for her to be here and under the same roof, you know, I think is really exciting for me and I think a lot of people in our organization and, uh, just look forward to, you know, uh, watching her grow throughout the process, watching her get better, looking forward to actually being able to cheer for her now, you know, now she's, on, now she's with the good guys. So far, the two have really hit it off. They constantly watch each other's games and have become close friends. Tyrese talks about watching more and more WNBA games because of his newfound interest in following Clark and the Indiana Fever as they keep improving. Hopefully, they develop into a contending team as fast as Tyrese Halliburton did with the Indiana Pacers, too. Um, and it's been really cool to see uh, her growth uh, this, this past year and um, the Fever as a whole to see uh, Kelsey get some playoff you know, experience and just the whole group of Leah, the whole group. Um, it's really cool to follow the team. And it's unfortunate that they lost, uh, but they're a young group. They'll be back for success. And now I'm locked in, you know, watching more WNBA because... 
A young developing team like the Indiana Fever will likely start being competitive in the postseason soon enough because of Caitlin Clark. She's not used to losing this much. Once the Fever get enough pieces that complement her growth as the lead orchestrator, nothing will get in their way. Caitlin Clark has been a winner for her young career. That's why crowds of people have swarmed WNBA arenas even in her first games. They have followed her winning journey from back in college. One of these longtime supporters is the young NBA star Kobe White. You could hear the enthusiasm in his voice in watching one of his favorite players. He's even called her the GOAT. It's understandable after watching her break the scoring record and after dropping those half-court bombs. Kobe has continued to be an avid supporter of Caitlin Clark throughout her rookie season. It's pretty hard not to be a fan after witnessing all of her flashy highlights and record-breaking greatness. Uh, support Clayton Clark for, for a while and what she's been doing for the games. Uh, this is my first time seeing him in person, so it's been dope. What was it like when you saw her hit that three? Which one? <laughs> uh, the one that break the record was crazy. I think she put up two feet beyond half court. So for me to see it in person, it, it, she's legit. You know, she's 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 the best. So uh, she's the goat. So you know, uh, she's just she's. Her skill set far exceeds everyone else. And finally, we have Victor Wembanyama. He is arguably the most similar player to Clark, not in play style, but in the specific context they've entered the league in. Wemby has been the most hyped up prospect in the NBA for decades. That is the same for Caitlin Clark in the WNBA. Wembanyama did not go to college, but made a gigantic name for himself at his French league overseas. It seems that Caitlin Clark did the same thing at the University of Iowa, because when Victor Wembanyama was asked about his favorite WNBA player, he only had one answer. She's the sole player he was deeply impressed by in college, male or female. When she was in college, the only college player that I was really uh, in awe of the game, you know, I'm saying men and women's college basketball, She's probably the most impressive I've seen. The expectations for both of these players were huge. Most people have been following their games even before they played in the NBA and WNBA. That's because they both have game-breaking aspects that absolutely make them must-watch TV. Caitlin's unparalleled shooting ability and Victor Wembanyama's unbelievable length made their respective leagues have a race to the bottom for the chance to draft them as the number one pick. Caitlin entered the WNBA last season, while Victor entered the NBA last season as well. Both immediately shook their leagues by each putting up one of the greatest rookie seasons we've ever seen. Similarly, they both are put into a difficult situation. There's a reason their respective team was able to draft them at number one, after all. Despite putting up some crazy numbers, their overall team isn't going to be competitive just yet. The fate of their team is resting squarely on their shoulders. They've already been able to prove that they're the new face of their franchise, yet everyone knows they can do way better than that. Very soon, they'll be the face of their league. It's acknowledged that in both their cases, they have the potential to end up staking their claim as the greatest player in their league's history. That's why Caitlin Clark's impact has reached beyond just the WNBA now. The biggest NBA stars have to chime in on what she's doing. Even people who had never watched the WNBA before now have plenty to say about the league. Now that the stadiums are packed, we get to hear way more praise and criticism from way more people. How about you? What are your thoughts on the recent WNBA boom carried by Caitlin Clark? Do you agree with what these NBA players have been saying about her? Let us hear it in the comments below. There's definitely more to come in the career of Caitlin Clark. Let's hope she continues to blow our minds and follow this upward trajectory into the bright future of the WNBA.